Yo, yo, yo. STS here. Here I am. And this right here, I mean, I know I do a show called Slam Unfiltered. This is Slam Unfiltered. But this is a testimony. Um, and now y'all can laugh about this guy of testimony, you know. As if you watched my slam movie review of the Res resurrection of Gavin Stone, watching this flick, it's a religious flick, you know. If, yeah, this is a religious. This is a religious promo, by the way. So if you, if people, you just like to see me bitch and complain and whine and oh, what's say I'm bitching about now? Leave this video. This video is nothing but true. Nothing but honest. And something that I deal with since I was young. And I believe, you know, I just, I believe, you know, I'm just, I'm going through a lot, you know, since my, since divorce, I've been talking about all the time. It's, it's been a very long journey since April 2016. It's now 2018, January. But this is, talk about my issues that I've done in the past. I'm here to tell you, this is all Ken. This is straight up honesty. You know, as a, uh, 27 years old. I'm unemployed. You can say I'm disabled, mentally disabled. I've let my insecurities take control of me for so long. For so long. You know, you, as a child, I was so close to my father. And as you get old, I'm close with my mom. I'm my mama's boy. You just, every Friday, it was it. My dad's alcoholic. He drinks. And I hated that day, you know. I had to see my dad at one time. When they were separated, because he chose, he said, so you're me or the kid. And my mom chose me, because I was young. I looked at him when he was with, when we got back out down south from the Six Flags of the Georgia trip. And I came to say, I want to drop my shirt off to my dad. We used to give him Harley Days and shirts. And so, yeah, okay. Run my bike over there and open the door. And he was, there's some young woman. And there was a baby, she had a baby. And they're like rocking back and forth, you know. And I'm like, your dad is your shirt. Yeah, I just want to drop this off to you. I'm going to get out. I don't know how. I don't remember what I said. But my mom has actually told me that I was very upset when I came back. And my mom and my aunt had a... One of my aunts had a... Uh, they went over there. I think the cops are involved, but... Well, my mom and dad are together still. But Age 12. I'm, elementary and everything's great, but age 12, you know, Abby came to Reville. And that's why I wear the... That's why I always wear the, the beard all the time. I got all these pores on my face and everything, but... Age 12 years old, you know, Tabitha Dennison. And I thought she was hot. I still think she does still to this day. Um, but I asked her, hey, you know, there's a guy like she in class. Oh, yeah, who is he? You know, and I did this thing and she said, well, you're ugly though. I said, it was me. She says, well, you're ugly though. And that's been with me ever since, age 12. You know, I always wanted to be the guy that women, women would go up to and stuff. Ever since that day, ever since I've been looking down, I've been in this deep depression for so long. It got me into pornography, well, hentai, which is anime porn, cartoon porn. I was in Dragon Ball Z, Sam and X, and it led to pornography, which I've been dealing with since I was 14 years old. You know, when... I don't know, just, uh, I'm a porn addict. You know? I never
ever since my, my divorce and stuff, I've been a crazy, I mean, I've been just this crazy man whore on this destructive path. And there's some times where I just want to give up and just die. And I got all these insecurities that's fucking up my soul. And, uh, I mean, I am a Christian, but I'm more spiritual than religious. Um, I went to church at Bethel Worship Center. That got me into Christianity. That pushed me out of the church because there's too many cliques there. I still go there from time to time on. You know, but I love Jesus Christ. But then you hear, but here's a guy who loves Jesus Christ, but says a cunt, who says the ass, says fucking bitch and shit. Because I love to cuss, and I'm sorry if that hurt, if you get offended about it. Unsubscribe me. Just you leave, you know. I'm just you know, but I do. You know, whatever the actions were done, like if every time I masturbate, I feel so shitty and guilty, but I do it again and again. I'm so tempted to drink some Jack Daniels at the moment, right here, which yesterday, that this right here is the rest of the Jack Daniels. It was right here, I think, where I had it and I drank all that. Yeah, makes you gag. Yeah. Tempted to drink it again. But I'm not. Oh God! Just... Oh, just... Drinking with friends is fine, but when I drink alone, it turns me into very sad, shitty mess. I'm just. Uh, I believe in Christ. But I don't follow, you know. I mean, when I, I mean, I sin all the time, you know, this, and I feel very ashamed for it. And um, I don't know. I just want a new way out. And also, you know, like the man whore days, you know. I, you know, I can be honest with you. A couple of days ago, I had, I uh, got head from a woman, and I had sex with her. Bareback too. Some people don't know that. I don't. I keep. Well, I don't keep secrets. But after that, I said no more until I meet somebody that likes me for who I am and someone who I like for them. I'm not using you. You know, I'm not using women anymore. I'm not doing that stuff. I need to figure out and be, have the friendship from the very start. And, and, and just go with it until a, until something sparks. And you go and, and then you get together, go to the house to watch a movie. And like, oh, well, I'll see you then uh, tomorrow, or whatever. Uh, Want to hang out again? Not just uh, oh, let me put my hands down your pants. Oh, let's have sex. No, I mean yes, in a relationship, yes, but not like the first time stuff. That's my bad luck stuff. So this video, I wanted to make it clear, you know, I want to make it clear to myself on this video that I'm here to try once again, but this time it's being broadcast to me saying you, Sam, to just get away from this negative filth that you think about. And then you look at the phone, these dirty images of women, even though I love the woman's body so much, I wanted to broadcast it, to say, you know, I'm not doing that no more. It'll come and go, but I'm not here to be ashamed for it anymore. I want people to know this is what I you know, I do every day. When I do like every day, like when I, after this, my grandfather, my, blah, blah, blah. after this, you know, uh, I could have went back home for a couple of days, but I dropped my son off, 
And I said, you know what? I'm going to go see my grandmother. My grandmother, when she's out there, this is the place. But then again, I send here. But this is a place where I come to uh, restructure myself. I feel like this is heaven in some kind of way. Marion's like the stressor from hell. But I'm used to it. It's home. I'm very, I'm not very good independent. I'm very dependent. That's one of my flaws, I guess. Um, you know, I live alone in Green Tree Apartments. I live in the same place that I live in the same room that my ex-wife sex with her new baby daddy now. Um, but, you know, and I'm, I heard I don't be there. I'm trying to get transferred, but I don't know if I'm ever going to because that floor is ridiculous and I can't clean with a shit. I'd try my best. I might need a rug doctor or not, but I want to do what I love. I want to wa I want to watch movies. Movies and wrestling has got me, it gets me through past this, these hurdles in life. So I just, right now, it's just, and I want to meet, and I get so sad, because I'm so, my shyness, my, my shyness or whatever, I can't even speak to women or anything. I look at myself in the dream world as this movie star. Look at me, I make these videos. I make these videos on my YouTube channel because I pretended I'm a star. I'm my own star in my own show. I'm on YouTube throughout the years. It gets me through a lot. It it's it, it shows me it shows you guys my journey through life. For all the videos I've done, for the vlogs I've done, from the STS and the zones, to the slamming vlogs, to the slam unfiltered, to the simple reviews, to the slammed at movie reviews. It speaks from the heart. I don't give myself a lot of credit. Right now, I'm 27 years old. I'm on welfare assistance. I've been on welfare since age 21. I'm, I'm thankful that I got on it, but then again, I'm glad that it's, it's time goes on. You know, you got to get these disabilities, these insecurities out of your head that's ruined your life because it's been ruined my life. I feel so embarrassed because every time I meet or talk to a female, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's all goody goody. But then when I say, oh, I'm on assistance at the moment, it goes to shit. I, uh, but I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in voc rehab trying to find something. Um, I've been doing some volunteer work at Carry Services with special need people. And those are the nicest people as can be. who are building packages for, or boxes for Amazon. I did 103 in three hours. Is that hurt? You know, you may think that's some, oh, that's easy shit. But man, your fucking hands are fucking tired and bruised. You know, even have, I had gloves on. I really don't know. What I am, you know, that's the truth. And this is the conclusion of this video. I really, I really have no idea what I'm doing in my life. All I want is be loved, just to find someone to be loved and cared about. But I can't even talk to women. I can use online dating sites, which doesn't leave me nowhere. Because no one has the devotion to speak, to talk to me. No one has. And I, 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 I know it's 14 minutes. I ran, I run on and run on. I just, I don't really care. This video is not about views. This view, this view is about me, what I'm going through right now. You know, I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to church someday. You know, just, I need a good word. And, and uh. I don't know, I might just, I might even, I might even tell Devron I'm going, maybe. Or maybe I will get Devron, because my friend Devron Robertson's got, I mean, I don't want to go to go to church and stuff. And maybe I will go back. I like going to church, and it gives me a good sermon. Now, it's 15 minutes. But it's time to step up to the plate. 
It's time not to give up any fucking more. It's time to, when these urges come to my brain, shit. I just don't want to get to me. I'm now taking meds, Wilbutrin, for my anxiety, which they're right there. You, as you can see, if I can point. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do this. Right there. It's not, there it is. Can't even do it for my anxiety, my ADHDness. My ADHDness, I have racing thoughts. That's probably why I can't focus much. But at the end of the day, I am a high school graduate. I was a drop high school dropout turned high school graduate, age twenty four. No, twenty three, going on twenty four. Two thousand fourteen. So I'm very gracious and very grateful for that. But I just wanted to make this video. Because it's time for a change. That's what Owen Hart said. Enough is enough. It's time for a change. I can't let this gloomy shit run my fucking life, man. I can't let it. But I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to try to get this video uploaded tomorrow. Which would be Thursday. And I'm here until Friday. I'm going, I'm going back home Friday around 4 o'clock or something. But thank you guys. If you guys, whoever watches this, it's 60 minutes. I don't think no one's going to already watch this. It's me. It's just not me, bitch. It's just me talking about my life and stuff. And, you know, I love my mom. I love my dad, even though we have our issues. I love my sister. I love my son. I just want to make everybody, I just want to make everyone proud of me. I want to make my grandma proud of me. And I want to make my little grandfather cry. I want to make... I want to make that guy proud of me. My grandfather. I want to make him proud of me. I'm glad that he got to see my boy, before he passed on. It's just a bit of heart. I just want to be looked up. That would be like, oh, there's that piece of shit again. I want to be looked up. Thank you guys, gals, whoever watches my videos. Peace. STS out.